Peace and blessings. Appreciate the comment. This is about rapture, as gentleman believes in post-trip rapture. Now, there is no right or wrong view on rapture, folks, but let me ask you this logically. Why would anybody want to be raptured after trip? When Jesus has bound Satan, thrown the Antichrist in the lake, and Jesus reigns and there's peace on earth for a thousand years. Why would anybody want a rapture then? Why wouldn't we just want to live in a Satan-free world? Yeah, I mean, if you just think about that, there's really nothing else to debate. But again, everybody's allowed their wrong view on rapture because the Bible doesn't say. It's not a doctrine, it's a, it's a belief. Uh, also, I saw your other comment. Second coming and rapture are two different things. The way that you could tell is, read those verses. One, Jesus touches the ground. And Thessalonians and Corinthians, all the rapture verses, he does not touch the ground. That is why Harpazo is snatched up, called up to the clouds. He wouldn't have to call us up to the clouds if he came down. So it's two different events. It's two different distinct events. Just apply logic, guys. Why would, first of all, if Jesus couldn't come like a thief in the night, when all seven years of trib happened, the abomination of desolation is exactly mid-trib. Who, who's going to be surprised by Jesus returning or by, by, by rapture when we know exactly where we are in trib? That makes zero logical sense. It goes against all scriptures that say, be ready, he'll come like a thief in the night, for no man knows would know, like would literally know that would have 3.5 years or less. Exactly. But just ask yourself, who would want to rapture when you could live in a Satan-free, beautiful, peaceful earth with Jesus reigning for a thousand years? The answer is nobody. We could live and then go to heaven. There'd be no point to rapture. God bless. May this bless you in Jesus' name. Subscribe to Shadow and Tubbs for more Christian content.